uh, just to confirm everyone can see my screen. Yes. Yes, sir, we can. Thank you. All right. Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining this call. Um, this is the call for the community design meeting for the intersection improvements of North Tarrant Parkway at North Beach Street. Um, this project is located in Council District Number Four. Um, at this time, is there any representatives from the Council District? I believe there was earlier. I do oh. apologize. Uh, I must oh, okay. have the improper, but I'm fair to take notes either way. I'm with Councilman Carlos Forrest, District 2. But um, in any case, you know, we'll take notes and we'll share them with the council district appropriate too. And I have no notes from the councilman. And we thank you, staff, for being here. And I'll leave it to project manager Ivan Lopez. Thank you. Um, and we'll clarify if it is council district four two. To avoid any further communication, miscommunication. Um, but yes, um, so the Fort Worth City of Fort Worth project number is 103309. Uh, my name is Ivan Lopez. I am the project manager with the City of Fort Worth for this project. Um, and the project engineers are Fries and Nichols. Uh, we do have two representatives from the uh, project engineers here on the call today. Um, so at the end of the presentation, if anyone has any specific questions regarding the design, um, they'll be more than happy to help answer those. So the agenda for today's meeting is as follows. Um, we'll start off with a little bit of the project background and the goals of the project. Um, we'll show uh, the existing layout of the uh, intersection today, um, and then go into what the proposed design is and how um, it'll change the intersection. Uh, we will go over the schedule, um, and then I'll share the project contact information um, and then at the end we'll open it up for questions. So the project background and objectives um, follows um, by the 2022 uh, City of Fort Worth bond program. Um, and a couple of the objectives we do uh, hope to accomplish with this project um, is mainly to improve the capacity of the existing intersection. Um, today, is a, it's a pretty busy intersection, and uh, so there are uh, a couple of uh, ways that we can improve that. Um, one of them being mainly um, improving the turning movements, um, and we will be doing this by um, the addition of dedicated left and right turn lanes um, on each leg of the intersection. If uh, somebody could please mute themselves, everyone just please make sure that they're muted. Thank you. So the project location, um, we are talking about the intersection of uh, Tarrant Parkway and Beach Street. Um, that is on the north side of Fort Worth um, and on the east side of I-35. Believe there's a Walmart on the north east corner, um, a Chase Bank on the northwest corner, uh, CVS, and um, I can't remember what the gas station on the uh, southeastern corner. Um, yes. I'm going to try to mute a couple people. Chad, if you could please hand them up. Thank you. Yes, sir. So the existing intersection um, is as today um, looks as shows. Um, there are going west and eastbound. There are two through lanes in each direction, um, with one turn lane, um, one left turn lane, and one right turn lane. Um, going north and south, um, you do have three through lanes um, and a and a return lane. And so this slide shows um, the improvements we are proposing at the intersection. Um, the hatches um, shown in black are areas where we are proposing um, additional pavement um, or reconstruction of the existing medians. Um, I will be uh, going into 
uh, more detail for each leg um, with the following slides. We are looking at North Tarrant Parkway. Um, this is if you are going eastbound. Um, the improvements we are proposing are um, on the median in the middle of the uh, intersection. We are going to be cutting into that um, to allow for an additional left turn. Uh, so there will be dual lanes going eastbound um, along Tarrant Parkway. Um, additionally, on the uh, as you approach the intersection. Um, if you are going southbound, we will be cutting into that existing curb um, and we will be introducing a median which will allow a turn lane. Um, and what this, what we hope to accomplish with this design, um, previously before this, as you were approaching the intersection, um, if you wanted to make a right turn, you had to come to a complete stop at the intersection. Um, with new design, we do um, will more of a uh, yield condition, um, and then if there is um, room to go, um, you will be able to access the through lane uh, more effectively than just uh, waiting uh, once you come to a complete stop. Um, this uh, segment of the median will also kind of allow for more storage of the turn lane. Um, so we do hope that this kind of helps expedite the amount of um, turning movements uh, going southbound. Going westbound along North Tarrant Parkway, um, we are doing uh, similar improvements. We will be um, cutting into the existing um, parkway on the north side of the road uh, to allow for a longer right turn lane. We will be introducing the uh, pork chop as you approach the intersection to allow for that channelized right turn movement that I just uh, explained. With that, we will be uh, redoing the driveway, uh, the Walmart driveway. And then along the southern portion of the road, we will be cutting into that existing median pretty significantly um, to allow for dual left turn lanes uh, going southbound. By doing so, we will be striping off one of the existing lanes. Um, we will be striping it off. Um, I will go back to the slide just to kind of prove a point. Going to the westbound, hopefully y'all can see my mouse. There are only two receiving through lanes. So in order to continue that, we are going to have to stripe off one lane to allow those two through lanes to continue forward and then having two dual left going southbound. Now we're looking uh, north and south along B Street. So John shows going northbound. Once again, we will be cutting into that existing median to allow for an additional left turn lane. So going northbound on beach, there will be two dual lefts. Today, there already does exist a analyzed right turn lane. So all we'll be doing in that area is uh, expanding the median a little bit more to um, for pedestrian access, um, and then just kind of uh, redoing that curb with it. The image on the right, going southbound along the street. Um, similarly, we'll be cutting into the median to allow for dual left turn lanes. And then on this side, we will be cutting into the uh, parkway uh, going uh, westbound pretty significantly in order to accommodate that channelized right turn lane. And we will be introducing a median in that corner as well. I'll go back to the overall layout as one more time. Um, I apologize if it's a little hard to see, but we will be um, traffic signals. Uh, will still This will still be a channel, uh, signalized intersection we will be relocating the traffic signals to different locations. Um, additionally, with all these improvements, uh, we will be uh, redoing all the pavement marking the intersection approximately three to 400 feet in each direction. That'll include all the crosswalks, all the arrows, all the uh, lane designation.
the project schedule is as follows. Currently, we are still in the design phase. Um, this is a community design meeting uh, to get input from the community. Um, this is the first of two that we plan on having. The second one will probably take place um, in about two to three months. Um, right away will be required for this project, uh, primarily on the southwestern corner. Um, and we do anticipate being able to acquire and uh, complete that acquisition uh, by the end of the year. Along this corridor, there are plenty of franchise utilities, um, primarily a lot of overhead electric poles and lines. Um, we are working with Encore to um, get some of those relocated, so that coordination is ongoing. Once the design is complete and we are ready to go to construction, we will be having a pre-construction public meeting. We do anticipate that being in May of next year. Um, and a couple months uh, after that, we do uh, estimate to be able to start construction uh, August of 2024. Uh, currently, we have estimated a duration of construction for about 15 to 18 months, um, but that is subject to change uh, depending on material availability um, and just the overall uh, status of the market. Um, and we do finally have an estimated construction cost of just under $3 million. So on the screen is the project contact information for the project. As mentioned previously, my name is Ivan Lopez. I'm the project manager with the City of Fort Worth for the project. Um, on the screen is my contact information if you wish to reach out to me regarding anything regarding the project. Um, and if you have any questions about the design or anything like that, um, Todd Buckingham, um, his information is on the screen. He's the project engineer with Friesen Nichols. And uh, just a quick plug uh, for the service request, the My Fort Worth app. Um, this is a great tool for um, citizens to um, give input on their city, primarily uh, the intersections or any other uh, projects that they are in, of interest. Um, you can download the app. They have it on the Apple and Google stores, or you can text that number on the screen, call the call center, um, or just go to the website and use the chat box. So that's the end of the presentation. Um, we will now open it up for questions. Um, I will be going back to the overall slide. And if anyone has any questions, um, we can talk about any of the different aspects of the project. Hey, Ivan, I have one question if I could jump in. This is Laura. Yes. Hi, everyone. I'm communications with TPW and glad to support Ivan tonight. I was just curious if anyone's on from the North Fort Worth Alliance group. Okay, I don't think so. Thank you. Um, actually, we had someone we had someone in the chat say yes, I'm here from that group. It's um, Kayla, I believe is who chatted. Let me let me make sure. Yes. Kayla said she is, so go ahead, Laura. Or were you just I taking just a poll? I am just saying hi. Nice okay. to meet you virtually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you were just taking a poll. Okay. We want to be sure we're keeping you all looped in and um, giving you enough notice, so um, I'm going to do yes, a good we, job uh, of that. We made the mistake of not giving them enough time for a previous public meeting, so um, looks like we did it correctly this time. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. We do have a question in the chat. Ivan, can you hear me? Yes, I can. The question is, here's the question. The area that is striped off on westbound Tarrant by the Walmart entrance, is that just paint stripes where you stripe off the lane? Yes, that is correct. Um, it will be, correct me if I'm wrong, Todd, will that be white or yellow? I believe it will be yellow, right? Yeah, it'll be white, uh, white striped off. Oh, sorry, yes, white. 
Yeah, and that'll separate the through lanes from the dual left turn. That answer the question? Um, I think so. We um, folks, folks can also well the chat, I guess, is best. I was about to say, I'm not sure if everyone has been muted or if they would like to speak or if they would just like to chat, but the chat's working well, I guess. <laughs> I believe we got another one or a comment. Yes, um, the next is the next comment is from the same person. It says we get a lot of congestion there because people try to come out of Walmart to the left turn lanes. Yes, they do, because I'm one of those people. They live up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so hopefully with this, all these improvements, it'll kind of guide people a little bit more. And a lot additionally for those left turning movements, by providing all these dual lefts, um, hopefully it kind of reduces the amount of queuing that occurs um, along the um, streets today. That's right. And I, I, I just want to say that, yes, that is striping. So it's no physical barrier to keep people from getting into those left turn lanes from that driveway. I just wanted to point that out if, if that's what that person was sort of getting at. Here's another question in the chat. This is from Richard. Will the lights be timed longer to allow more flow? I, I would probably uh, do um, our transportation management for that question. I'm not quite sure on that. If, I don't know if Aziz or Sagar are on the call. Yeah, this is Aziz. Yeah. Uh, the intention is to have more capacity, meaning adding more capacity. So we will, of course, uh, try to optimize uh, the green for the left turn uh, movements or other movements as well. So you can optimize the green for all movements and it uh, will be run on the sensor, traffic sensor. Got it, so there will be some, some changes to the timing. Um, a follow up, he says currently or in the future. So after the improvement, yeah, we're going to uh, revise or adjust the timing. Based on the need, yeah. So, so the timing will be adjusted after the project is built for based on the traffic out there. Aziz is, do y'all, do y'all, for some reason, I have it in my mind that y'all go out and adjust timing at intersections on sort of an interval around the city. How often do y'all do that? Yes, uh, regularly. Uh, transportation management have a uh, program, annual retiming program. Part of that, we retime uh, one third of the traffic signal uh, of the city annually. So Amazing. That is our, yeah, that is our goal. So it'll be timed to optimize the intersection when it's built, and then it sounds like every three years every three or so, years. Yeah. yeah, it'll be adjusted. Perfect. Or if there's like a citizen uh, uh, concern or something, so we can go out again for uh, addressing the timing. Other than that, on regular basis, routinely, we'll go like every three years. Uh, but there's a, any complaint, we're going to go right away. Yeah. Exactly. We can see okay. 60 days. That's that's great. So another question is from Neil in the chat. Here's his question. Are the existing lanes going to be removed and replaced or will we just have new lanes added? Yes, so on this image on the screen, uh, this is the overall project design. So the areas that are hatched are areas where we are proposing new pavement uh, or modifications to the existing pavement. Um, all the other existing lanes will remain as is. For the most part, 
all the lanes will remain. There's just a portion on the southeastern corner. We are kind of redoing some of all that corner right there. Um, but other than that, majority of the existing lanes will, will remain. Hey, Ivan, I'm going to jump off for another public meeting now. <laughs> if you all need me, let me know. All after. right. Thank Thanks. you, Laura. Thank you. Everyone. Appreciate it. Thanks, Kayla. Oh, crap. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> okay. Do we have any I, additional I see, questions? I don't, any, I don't see any other questions in the chat right now. Yet. Well, I, mean, I really, I really appreciate you. I think you did a great job explaining the improvements that are being proposed. Um, so good job, and, um, and and to the team for answering these questions. It's been great. We're in no hurry to end this meeting or jump off the call. We're we're here for everybody, but um, to, you know, to answer questions. But I don't see any additional questions right now, Ivan, in the chat. Oh, here's one. Um, this is Kayla. She said, is the dip on North Tarrant going to be fixed? Are we aware of that dip? I am not. Todd, do you know? Going, going towards Fossil Ridge High School. Mm, I'm trying to look it up in Google Maps right now. So the limits of this project are just mainly along this intersection, um, give or take three, 400 feet um going in each direction from the intersection so um if that does fall outside of that that unfortunately will not be part of this project yeah it looks like it's to it's um further to the west too far to the west Chad, is that's that something, something that they that's, can yeah, I was just, use the service requests yes, for? Sir. Yes, sir. I was just about to say that. Thank you. Can <laughs> Don't you have that information on the your last slide? Yes, I do. So, 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 so Kayla, we have uh, the um, – Ivan's going to show you how to download the app, and our folks are really good at responding to the app. So this is a request you could put in the app if, if you'd like to report this dip in the lanes. And then um, Neil has a comment he put in the chat. He says, we will hate the interruption for a bit. I know, <laughs> I know exactly what you mean, but the result will be worth it. It looks great. Thanks. So Neil, thank you so much for, you know, the positive input like that. We really appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, I'll just say one last thing. Um, this uh, we are this meeting is being recorded, so this meeting will be uploaded to the city website in the project um, the project page, um, and then additionally, um, as I we just mentioned, uh, if you have any questions or anything, um, here's the contact information one more time. Uh, you can reach out to me or to Todd uh, for any questions you may have, and we'll do our best to answer them or find someone who can answer them. Okay, does anyone else on the call or on the phone or in the meeting have any other questions? Okay, uh, I have a question. Will, uh, since the, the project's only gonna go about 400 uh, feet, um, I work at Walgreens, so I was just wondering, is the entrance over to Walgreens gonna be better if on North Tarrant? Um, 
correct me if I'm wrong, is the Walgreens on the southwest corner of the intersection? Is it this red building right here? The Walgreens is on the south southeast is the Walgreens. This one? Yes. Which one, this one or the other one? Southeast, yes. Where that word existing right of way is, according to Google oh, Maps, okay. that's the Walgreens. There's a CVS on the other other corner, southwest. Yeah, they're usually always across from each other somehow. But yes, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, that um, that driveway, as you can see, doesn't have any um, pavement improvements associated with it. Uh, there will be some striping modifications done um, in front of it. Um, so I believe access uh, access will be try to maintain will be try to be maintained um, at that driveway at all times. So um, people should still be able to use that. Okay, thank you. Are there any more questions? Thank you for all those who joined the call and uh, participated. Um, makes it a lot easier to uh, pass the time on these meetings. So appreciate everyone's cooperation and participation. Okay. Um, Chris Archer has one comment that says, looks like a great project. Thanks for the community outreach. Thank you, Chris. We really appreciate it. And um, I guess we, we can go ahead and end, Ivan, if there's no other questions. And Ivan, again, I think you did a great job. And thanks, um, Aziz and Sagar for joining and for um, Adam and Todd. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you all. Everyone have a good night. Thanks, Ivan. Good night.